are discussing the organic chemical technology course module 8 and that is about the polymer, elastomer and synthetic fiber, synthetic fiber that is the we are having 8 lecture in this already I discussed in the lecture 1 about the general introduction to the polymer, elastomer and synthetic fiber, what are the various types of the polymer, elastomer, synthetic fiber and how the what are the driving force for the development of these uh, three important class of the polymer that is the plastic, elastomer and the synthetic fiber. And in that also we discuss the various type of the reaction that is taking place in the manufacture of um, the all the polymers whether the elastomer or synthetic fiber or the plast or the polymer as such. So, the um, and the different type of the reaction, different type of the process that we are because those processes are also being used in the various um, whether you are manufacturing the polyolefins or other um, polymers. And so, the this lecture that will be about the polyolefins, polyethylene and polypropylene and polystyrene because these are the three important polymers especially the ethylene and the propylene that has come in the um, large number of the uh, large increase in the capacity that has been with the coming of the petrochemicals or the cracker plant, naphtha cracker and the gas cracker and the with the ability of the ethylene and the propylene. And the similarly in case of the polystyrene with the ability of the benzene for making the ethyl benzene and ethyl benzene to styrene. So, this will be the coverage of the lecture introduction general about the polyolefins and then we will be discussing of the polyethylene and polypropylene catalyst and development for the various type of the catalyst we are using in case of the polypropylene. So, metals in catalyst that has been uh, actually the change in the whole pattern of the making of the um, polymers and in polypropylene what are the various type of the polypropylene that we are making that will be discussed, process technology for manufacture of these two in detail we will be discussing and then the polystyrene. So, this will be the broad coverage of the lecture. So, polyolefins are high polymers produced by polymerization of the olefin, polyethylene, the various as I told you the very great of the polyethylenes are there LDP low density, high density, linear low, low density polyethylene and the polypropylene also in the polypropylene different um, grade of the polypropylenes are there. So, these are the main polyolefins that we are producing. Polyolefins such as polyethylene and the polypropylene are commodity plastic and found uh, in application in valley from household items such as grocery bags, containers, carpets, toys, appliances to high technical products such as engineering plastic, industrial pipes, automotive parts, medical appliances just like in case of the polypropylene that is finding large application in the med uh, medical appliances and even the prosthetic in implant. Because now the we are having, now we are talking about the uh, artificial um, part of the body. So, from where, it, so we are using different type of the polymers there. Even in case of the uh, large variety of the composites are also available. So, ethylene and propylene are the monomers for the polyethylene and the poly and the polypropylene because you see the, these are the two, as I told you the uh, starting also the ethylene and the propylene their availability from the petrochemical complexes th that has played important role in the development of these two major products. In India the domestic polymer industry is dominated by polyolefins uh, means the polyethylene and the polypropylene and uh, you see in India the so far the polyolefins are concerned Reliance, Haldia and the Gale. These are the major and now the IOC that is also coming and the ONGC after coming of the ONGC they will be also a major player in case of the, but at this, this stage the reliance 
then Haldia and the Gale, these are the three, but still the major share is of the reliance. So, for the polyethylene, the polypropylene is concerned. Polyethylene is the one of the most widely used thermoplastic and its ever increasing demand is due to availability of monomer ethylene, which I told you the, from the naphtha and the gas cracker. First polyethylene printer was based on the ethylene uh, from molasses that was the actually Risera. They started a small polythene plant with the based on the ethylene from the molasses and then it was the after coming of the gas uh, a small um, cracker plant, naphtha cracker plant by Union Carbide in Bombay. So, that was the smaller plant capacity that was, but after that after coming of the Nozil IPCL, no Reliance industry and then the Reliance Hajra project, Gale fall. So, lot of the um, production path changes in the production that has come in case of the polyethylene as well as the polypropylene. Some of the driving forces, other driving forces is the fast goods of the use of polythene or ease of the processing the polymer, its relative cost, resistance to chemical and its flexibility. These are the some of the major driving force for the adaptability of the polyethylene. So, as I told you we are making the different grade of the polythene. So, low density polythene branch produced by high pressure. So, LDP medium density depending upon the density this also 0 0.940. So, 0 0.920, 0 0.940, 0 0.94. So, depending upon the density you can differentiate whether it is the so, and even the crystallinity that is also changing so, LDP melting point slight difference in the melting point is also there and the linear high density to ultra high density homopolymer that we are also making in case of. So, these are the a broad um, grade of the polyethylene that we are making. This is the some of the uh, your application you are finding in case of the polyethylene packaging industry also we are having the packaging many of the um, conventional glass that has been replaced with the it may be the polyethylene, it may be the PET in case of the mineral water. So, all those things that is the um, for the containers for packaging edible oil, processed food, lubricants, detergent, chemical, pesticide, industrial crates and the containers, carrier bags, housewares, ropes and pins, pipes of water supply, everywhere they are using in some other form either although the PVC is more. These are the some of the yeah, so, far the piping is concerned I was telling about the PVC, more PVC pipes in the irrigation and the household lines they are there. So, these are the some of the major catalyst development in case of the polyolpin, Ziegler, Ziegler, Nata catalyst, frame chrome met metals in that has come in a big way in case of the um, manufacture of the polypropylene. Polyolefins by metals in catalyst, metals in catalyst have created revolution in the polyolefin production on account of their unprecedented potential in tailoring the molecular structure. It has resulted in various new application of the polyolefin. This is the actually the uh, now the processes um, using this catalyst for polypropylene. They have lot of the changes in the quality um, of the product is there. In metal catalyst, each uh, catalyst molecule has same activity and accessibility to the monomer, which was not there in other type of the catalyst. So, that is very important. Metal catalyst has inherent ability to produce extremely uniform home homopolymer and copolymer of a very narrow molecular weight distribution, high temperature stability. Very narrow molecular weight distribution means more uniformity is there. So, this is the advantage why the metals in catalyst they have um, um, enter in the um, manufacturing of the and the why the wide applicability of the metals in catalyst is there. This is the just comparison why the what are the advantage important character activity and yields. Very high activity towards mono, co and the uh, turf polymerization with very high turnover time. 
then they produce very high molecular weight, very sensitive to the hydrogen and only trace amount is required to control molecular weight, highly stereospheric in nature, co-monomer is highly random and the homogeneous. Can incorporate polar mon monomers, provide polymers which are highly linear, polymer exhibit low heat temperature and then the polymer with low haze, low high the, the action extractable mechanical properties, tailoring of the products can produce tailor made product. So, these are the sum of the characteristics of the metals in catalyst and the copolymers and why we are using more now the um, metals catalyst based process are there. Now, let us discuss about the polyethylene as I discussed these are the some of the, uh, the broad uh, classification already we discussed about the low density high density and the accordingly the process technology that has been also developed. Uh, this is the molecular mass advantage low cost extend dielectric properties, moisture resistance, very good chemical resistance, ability in the food grade process by all thermoplastic method. Several process has been commercialized for the manufacture of polythene with a varying density. Uh, this is how the branch and the linear um, polythene look like. Polythene process actually as I told you the, there are various process licenses and different type of the process that has been developed for producing wide variety of the polythene that is one of the parts of the saline gas based process, very low density polythene. So, that is LLDP B, VLDP they also call this process VLDP, LLDP high density polythene and then the Ziegler Nata titanium based catalyst that we are using and Basel is the uh, your process licensor. Broster P, Biomodel and new model LDP, Ziegler Nata catalyst and licensor the Broils, yes. Inoin gas phase that is Ziegler Nata caustic uh, catalyst that we are using, chromium or the metal catalyst that can be used, licensor BP. High pressure IAC. ICI process for LDP, Ziegler low process for HDP, Phillips process linear polythene licensor Chevron Phillips, Exxon Mobil LDP hom homopolymer and the ethyl and acetate copolymer. Other process licensor CX process for HDP, MDP low slurry process licensor is the Mitosi chemicals, unipole process, LLDP, HDP, um, fluidized bed reactor we are using in this process. Then the hostelium process, HDP using sterl tank, high activity Ziegler catalyst we are using here, licensor basal polyol, uh, polyolefins. Then the Lubtec TS are the TM modular reactor process. This is the LDP homopolymer EBA copolymer licensor is the your basal polyolefin. So, these are the some of the commercial process that is available for making of the different grade of the polyethylene. This is the again inoin process polymerization in product reactor using Ziegler Nata. This is the temperature condition and this is the product that we are getting. Broster process uses uh, slightly more detail about that process that was not there only I gave the various process. So, here in case of the Broster process uses gas based low pressure reactor, Ziegler Nata is a co monomer hydrogen, pre polymerization in the slurry loop reactor and a fluidized bed reactor, temperature 75 to 100 degrees centigrade, bimodal, any model LLDP and the medium density polythene. High pressure free radical process by Exxon chemicals. Polymerization occurs in the autoclave vectors or the tubular and the LLDP linear low density polythene that you are making by this process. Spirine gas phase process, Montel technology that we are having the polymerization in gas phase reactor, 
using the Ziegler Natter catalyst, here the linear low density polyethylene or the high density polyethylene that is the product we are getting. Phillips uh, low polyethylene, low density polyethylene process, polymerization take not low linear polyethylene process, the polymerization takes place in an isobutene slurry using very high activity pro propriety catalyst in loop reactor. So, this is the linear polyethylene. So, unipol process and the process produces low density polyethylene and high density polyethylene using low pressure in the gas phase. And this is the fluidized bed reactor. In the fluidized bed reactor, after the um, polymerization is completed, then it will go to the cyc cyclone, the separation of the um, catalyst that will take and the polyethylene that will be getting from here. And then it is with the recycled unreacted part that will be the uh, gases that will be uh, recycled here. Here it will be separation of the polyethylene that will be there. And DuPont described process a broad range of the polyethylene with a density varying from 0 0.919 to 0 0.965. Varying melt indexing uh, can be produced various melt index that is the actually the, this is the one of the um, new process or the um, modified process where the high varying melt index can be made by this process. The process can be divided into three major area reaction area, recycle, recovery area, extraction and fencing and Dow therm vaporizer. These are the some of the units um, various uh, steps are there. Uh, this is the by Scalzer process that is the butene here we are using the copolymer and the solvent and ethylene monomer that is going to the poly polymerization reactor and then the ethylene butene cycloexin again that is the recycle and then the fencing after the catalyst and here the co-catalyst, deactivator, additives and the polymer pellets that you are getting in this process. Uh, now, let us this uh, this was the various processes that is available for making of the um, polyethylene. Now, we will be discussing about the polypropylene. Polypropylene is a low density semi crystalline stereoregular polymer which exists in three forms isotactic, sinodiotactic and the atactic. So, these are the three forms of the polypropylene that prior to 1954 only cationic or the free radical catalysts were known to promote the polymerization of the propylene. This is the actually if you see the um, this is the courtesy of the reliance industry, this is the uh, because they are the main, uh, major manufacturer of the polypropylene and so the you see the as I told you the in case of the hospital where, where the conventional the syringes and the bottles glass was being that has completely uh, replaced the um, had me it has been replaced by polypropylene syringes that is the 1.5 billion huge now we are um, with the coming of the polypropylene at a very cheaper rate. Now, it is the disposable syringes, millions of masks that we are using, caps usage in the hospitals. These are all actually the polypropylene fibers also that is being used. Good divers are the uh, rise in the senior citizen population, health awareness and hence more disposable. India and the medical destination propylene uses 30 kilotons per annum. So, good growth in the health care industry and these are the some of the, this is the syringe and the bottles, glucose bottle earlier that used to be the glass. So, th you see the even the uh, this the mask and other thing that is also we are using the similarly you see the other application of the uh, rigid packing. This is also one of the here the uh, driver growth driver for the polypropylene or the increased consumption and growth in the organized retail, food processing, horticulture, dairy sector, 
increasing health safety concern disposable single cell packing format. So, polypropylene that is 250 kilotons, new applications are also there, glass replacement, multi wall containers are the growth driver. So, these are the some of the containers made of the polypropylene. Phosphoric acid because that was the earlier in the cartridge what was the problem, the phosphoric acid gave highly products later B BF3, alumina, silica, H2SO4, hydrofluoric acid, aluminum halides were used as cutlass in polymerizing pro, polypro, in polymerizing the propylene, but the Ziegler Nata cutlass that was the mostly widely used cutlass. There are three structures in the polypropylene. The the ratio of the various structure depends upon the catalyst and the operating condition used. So, already I told you the isotactic or stereo or the regular and the different type of the actually the um, configurations are there. The atactic there is another um, the second and the third is the sinuidio tactic. Ethylene propylene copolymers are also there using Ziegler Nata catalyst. Ethylene and propylene can be copolymerized to yield elastomer. Technology used by various producers are different but involve the following step polymerization of propylene by continuous process, copolymerization co of ethylene and the propylene with the first polymer using the same catalyst in the second step. So, this is the polypropylene process that we are using the propylene that is going to the polymerization, then the raging decasing, pelletizing and then the products. So, this is the simplest actually the one of the process where you are using the that you can make how the we are making the uh, polypropylene pellets. This is the unipol process where we are using the uh, your fluidized bed reactor propylene that is going to the polymerization reactor and then the uh, here we are having the reactor 1 and reactor 2 and the fencing reactors and then finally, the polypropylene uh, resin that we are getting in the final stage. So, this is the process unipol process where we are using the fluidized bed reactor. Uh, this was I was telling about the why the three structures they are very important in case of the, uh, the polypropylene that is the isotactic is still regular boiling and heptane insoluble highly crystalline high temperature and um, the atactic is still um, irregularity generally soluble in boiling and heptane low melting temperature. Here in case of the Sinoidio tactic that is stereo regularity different than the iso tactic, very low degree of crystallinity, not much in the practical year. These are the summary of the processes in case of the polypropylene that is available that the Broster polypropylene process license uh, Broles and the produced by bulk polymerization loop reactor followed by the final gas phase. A reactor. So, two step process that is this very full process Montel term technology homopolymer and random co polymer polymerization takes place in liquid propylene in a loop reactor. Heterophasic impact co, co polymerization is done by adding a gas in the gas phase reactor. Then the Nolan process that the polymerization is uh, conducted in one or two gas phase reactors connected in series. Union carbide gas that uh, um, gas phase unipol process a wide range of polypropylene is made in gas phase fluidized bed reactor using propriety catalyst. Then the spherison process technology that is new propriety gaseous technology based on the multi zone circulating system that is there. Uh, this process 
sphericol process. This process can produce a broad range of propylene polymers, including the homopolymer, polypropylene, random copolymer, teropolymer. Terpolymer means the two mon, uh, this monomer, additional monomer that may be there. Heterophagic impact, specialty impact, as well as high stiffness copolymer. In this process, homopolymer and the copolymer polymerization takes place in liquid propylene with loop reactor. Heteroscopic impact copolymerization is achieved by adding a gas phase reactor. This is the process which you are having the two stage reactor here the finishing the for the this is called the impact reactor and the finally you will be getting the uh, your polypropylene there in the process. Now let us this was about the polypropylene manufacture and as I showed you the polypropylene that was the uh, actually the automobile sector that has come in a big way and the uh, huge amount of the polypropylene that we are using in the automobile sector where the we are making the bumper and other materials of the polypropylene that is after certainly after the processing that polypropylene that we are using. So, another important uh, therm uh, this is polystyrene is a important thermoplastic when styrene is copolymer different type of the um, combination of the styrene with the aclonitrile and butadiene is there. So, when the styrene is copolymerized with the aclonitrile the polymer is styrene aclonitrile stand resin has a higher tensile strength than the polystyrene. Uh, next is the aclonitrile because in case of the uh, combination of the polystyrene, the aclonitrile butadiene styrene polymer has a special mechanical properties and fine application as the engineering plastic. Styrene, as I discuss in the um, by discussing the um, petrochemicals, we discuss the manufacture of styrene that was the from the ethyl benzene the addition of the ethyl benzene which is made by the alkylation of the benzene. So, the benzene and the ethylene that was the two major raw material for the styrene and so with the development of the petrochemical industry the now uh, we have been able to make the polystyrene at the cheaper rate and the polystyrene that is fine wide application in the industry. So, it's styrene copolymerized with the adiponate resulting in the aclonate resulting in the sand polymer is characterized with the high tensile strength than the polystyrene. So, this is the reason because the special specialized plastic we are using this uh, styrene aclonitrile plastic that we are using. Another important styrene co copolymer that which I told you that the aclonitrile in ABS plastic which is fine used in the engineering plastic and is characterized with the special mechanical property. Even we are having the uh, polymer metal composites also. So, ABS they are also being used in case of the your uh, some of the composite in the automobile sector also. So, that is the importance in case of the when we are dead um, aclonitrile and butadiene are also there when we are polymerizing the styrene aclonitrile and butadiene. We are discussing the various polystyrene process technology and one of the process is NOVA's polystyrene process polystyrene technology. The process produces a complete range of general purpose crystals uh, and the impact resistance polystyrene. This is based on the bulk continuous polymerization technique. This is the polystyrene process technology by UOP. This process is based on continuous bulk polymerization to produce a wide range of general purpose polystyrene because we are having the different gate of the one is the general purpose polystyrene and at the high impact polystyrene and the expandable also, but here we are making these two type of the general purpose and the high impact polystyrene and 
nitrate resin. A typical plant includes feed preparation, reactor section, devoltization section, monomer recovery section, water removal, product baptizing and the bulk resin handling. Another quality of the um, your um, this uh, polystyrene that is a high impact polystyrene. So, high impact polystyrene process um, this is the process licenses ABS Lumus Global BP chemical. The process produces wide range of general purpose and high impact polystyrene via bulk permission process. So, another grade of the polystyrene that is the expandable polystyrene EPS which is called the um, EPS expandable polystyrene. So, this is the process technology by BP chemicals and AB, ABB Lumus Global. Here in this process, this um, we are making the expandable polystyrene. The process produces regular and the flame retardant grade EPS, it is batch suspension process followed by continuous dewatering, drying and size classification. So, this was the about the uh, various grade of the polystyrene, we discussed in this lecture about the polyolefins, polyethylenes and the polypropylene um, and the various process technology and as I told you the major driver and the for this development of the polymer industry that has been the availability of the raw material especially ethylene propylene benzene from the petrochemical complexes and so for the in the near future polyolefins they are going to be play a very important role and with the coming of the metals in catalyst definitely the polypropylene that will be used for more specialized purpose also. So, in the next lecture will be lecture 3 will be discussing about the uh, polyvinyl chloride and some other polymers also which are finding wide application. Same thing has been in case of the polyvinyl chloride also where the um, petrochemical company especially the naphtha cracker they have played important role in the manufacture of the polyvinyl chloride and the cost reduction because the earlier PVC as I told you the while in beginning also that was the acetylene root from the acetylene to um, that was produced from the calcium carbide. So, in the next lecture we will be discussing about the PVC.